So uh, you guys should definitely check out his stream. Oh wait, this isn't the match I thought we were gonna get. This is a completely different match. <laughs> Why did I talk about Lottie and everything? I am so sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, well, it's Ronnie Chew and, and Sharp. <laughs> Uh, so I haven't seen this snake player before, and we just saw a Palakage snake, so we're getting more snake. And, uh, Sharp, uh, he can play pretty much any character he wants. I I've seen him play this matchup with, like, four different characters already, with varying success between each. Right now here, though, this is really good for Ronnie too. Great edge trap here as well. Gonna use that flip cut jump of uh, ZSS to get past all the explosions. Not many characters can just, you know, press one move and get past all that. Yeah. Uh, coincidentally, the first time we saw Sharp here on stream was actually like Zero Suit Samus, if I'm not mistaken. So this is kind of like an original character that we've seen from Sharp, but we, yeah, like you said, Strides. He's played this matchup with several other characters. Yeah. So I. Like, Oh, what a chase! I, I can I can see Sharp using multiple characters in this set, depending on how this match first match goes. Okay, try to get the tech chase with the up D. That was a good attempt here, either way, from Sharp not giving Ronnie Chu literally the time of the day. That's kind of one of the things when you fight against Snake. As soon as you're able to just combo him or hit him, you want to be relentless as possible because the minute you give Snake a little bit of ease. He will try to set up again. What a catch on the tech roll in here and the oh, quick boost okay. kick to finish it off. So, something I wanted to say about that whole thing is that Sharp is literally one guy away from dying. Or he's been at kill percent for, I want to say, like two minutes almost. And he's just playing so well. It's like the snake is the one that is the one that has to struggle really hard. <laughs> yeah. Even though he's technically, Sharp was technically, you know, losing his movement and patience. It's just been so good. <laughs> All right, good dash to catch the landing here on Sharp. Still 206. I was going to say, man, this ZSS is living. So we'll see. It's, it's honestly the good on Sharp to avoid a lot of like options against Snake. He even gets the footstool for style points there. Look how mobile he is with zero suits. He's I, I really mean, showing the, the ability of zero suit to like weave in between all these different approach options. He can potentially get this stock. Honestly? <laughs> while, at, <laughs> while at 210%. I was gonna say, he's at max rage, so a boost kick well timed at the ledge will do it. Oh, he got the shield drop or a shield poke? Can't tell. Either way, that was very good stock for Sharp. But here we got the grenade, Nair, dash attack. That's a true combo for 42%. <laughs> that snake for you. Yeah, I know Barry after the flip kick here. Sharp looking for a way to land. Like you said, Strides, being very mobile against Snake is really good because you're just able to weave in and out of his trappings with Grenade and you're able to just go ahead and apply pressure. And Sharp demonstrates that really well, literally on the verge of getting this next stock at 135 plus. I do like Ronnie Chu's uh, tenacity though. He is still keeping this very close. Oh, yeah. okay. Good DI there. Uh, I like that, but yeah. Sharp still covers it. <laughs> still covers it. Great p positioning on the four there. And well, well, understanding of I can use Nair to, to catch pretty much what is going to be the directional air dodge to cover the ledge. Because at that point, Ronich, you wanted to be careful. That's usually the snake option, is they'll use Snipe Cypher and try to use directional air dodge to cover the ledge as well. Definitely showing matchup experience here. Sharp on the cross up, 123, 50 on Ronich. Nair, excellent neutral air here to catch over there and the four tilt to read out too. the tech chase. Oh, nice. Caught him sleeping, though. Wasn't ready for the falling back here. Yeah, Ryan Chu has some really interesting grenade traps, too. But Sharp's just so good at avoiding a lot of them. Oh, bad, bad neutral get up. <laughs> bad neutral I, get up. I, I remember, uh, I remember Isam saying, like, he's like the one that always cries when he sees people neutral get up into ZSS's down smash. Because it's just like, why would you ever do that? That's like the one thing you should not do against that move. Unironically, though, it's the way that, like, Sharp has been playing. Like, if you notice how Sharp has been able to move in and out of Snake's range, like I said, with, with all the C4s in play, 
It's just that Sharp can do things like Zair, Neutral Air. He can even do back air, or he can even go for side special at, at the air. It's the fact that he kind of conditioned Ron and Chiu to feel like neutral getup would be the safer option, when in reality, it was in Sharp's hands the whole time. Yeah. A lot that of conditioning, crazy. yeah, a lot of conditioning and pressure that he applied to finally take the stock here. And that puts Sharp up 1 0 against Ron and Chiu. Uh, this is winner's quarter, this is best of, best of three, not best of five. Uh, this is going to be Ron and Chiu's last chance to stay in winner's side of the bracket. Okay, great in there. Sharp was just looking for that back air. If he snagged a double jump with that back air, he could potentially kill Snake so early. Tried to throw him into his own grenade. I like the idea. Didn't work, but it was a good idea regardless. That flare jump, man, is so good. Just like getting around Snake's explosive. A good use of Zera's pressure. Stop Snake from moving there, especially on the shield. Oh, oh, I thought he was going to try to get the grab on Sharp. Try to see if he can catch a jump with the up, so it's barely missing. There it is, a neutral get up from the ledge. Oh, no, C4. Yeah, I thought he would C4 Sharp for missing that grab, but he didn't do it. Great parry down tilt. Yeah, Dabla has so much range, nice. but the back air was well earned from Ronichu, definitely knowing that Sharp was pretty much exhausting himself towards this advantage. He applied a lot of pressure on that right side of the stage. You just made Sharp uh, get hit by that back air pretty much. And now let's see what Ronichu can do that he has to lead. Before he was like really struggling to come back against Sharp. Oh, that oh, was a no well-timed wow. paralyzer. That was a really good forward there too. <laughs> yeah, I want to say if Ronichu can get like 70% on this stock before he loses his, he was probably going to win. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it'll be really hard for Sharp to come back. Great dash attack there. I know Sharp wanted to get the run up boost kick, but Ryan Chu was a little bit ahead of him there. Yeah. Good oh, for Sharp to still be smart. extra. Yeah, that was smart. I was going to say, good for him to still be extra threatening even off the stage because the SS has the tools to threaten Snake on the recovery, especially like against using back air. Or just waiting out for him for Snake to actually grab the ledge. Yeah, Sharp on the escape from the platform. And he saw that Ronichu oh. had stepped the C4. This is an excellent up air carry. 75%. Yeah. Sharp already was a slow comeback. Definitely, definitely in position to bring this all the way back. Yeah, he's really good at up airing Snake while also uh, avoiding trading with the grenades. And that's what you want, that's too. Really the really the less you can avoid trading grenades, the better. Ronichu, though, still with the trap setups here, going for the cross up. No nice. punish, but he punishes a landing here on Sharp. That was well played. Yeah. He basically put the grenades in the center stage to see if he can get Sharp to jump. And then he just positioned really well with the up tilt. Yeah. All right. A little bit of a lead here. Can't sleep on Sharp, though. All it takes is one opening. Nope. Yeah. Oh, Such a threat. It's because wow. you think about Ronichu. He doesn't want to get hit by a back air. He'll get hit in a cypher. So at that point, Ronichu tried to dip a little bit too low. But at that point, Sharp had so much presence off stage that Ronichu just lost the stock there. He tried. Yeah, now Ronichu's on blowing himself up a little bit. Taking a little bit of unnecessary percent on himself. Mm, good dash attack to read the out of shield against Sharp here. Nice catch is here from Ronichu. Sharp in a pretty dangerous percent already. Might be looking for the down smash too. The zero mm, no down grab. Smash, I mean. Excellent four until afterwards though. Basically Trying to stop Ronichu. Max range Ooh. there. Oh, yeah, not, not true, ready. Not true. Yeah, not attack. true. Oh, oh, no. Big, big play there for Sharp. Trying to get a really hard read on like a roll out at the ledge. Boost kick with rage can actually kill really early at the ledge too. Mm -hmm. Even on Battlefield. So I don't blame him for going for that. But Ryan Shu definitely didn't fall for it. Not at all. Yeah. And it was good on Sharp too because you could tell that after the boost kick, he tried to angle it to where he could be towards the ledge and grab it. But at that point, you're literally in the arms of an angel, and Ronichu is not going to mess that up to get a down smash. Yeah, I'm glad he didn't miss that down smash, because like, there's sometimes when Zero Suit does that, and then people just let her fall to the ledge like for free, and you just hit him. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, he, he was there to punish. If you're going to be a great player, man, you're never going to miss your punishes or opportunities to get your opponent before they even get to the ledge. We see it from Sharp. 
We see it from Ronichu, honestly, going for the down smash at the very good moments. Honestly, Ron Ronichu plays very strong when it comes to trapping down ZSS's oh. movement here, but it's going to be a character switch coming out from Sharp. Going the Wolf. Wolf. Very good character versus Snake. Very good character versus Snake. Yeah. He honestly is one of the few characters that does meet the threshold of knocking him off a of Cypher, but on top of that, his raw knockback and ability to just snowball you with damage it would give Snake a huge run for his money. No, but I, I definitely have seen Sharp lose this matchup uh, with Wolf in the past, so I, I'm not going to say it's just a guaranteed win right here for Sharp, yeah. but I do like the choice of Wolf. There's this la like, The laser is amazing to deal yeah. with the camping of Snake because you have that intangible uh, laser to just go through everything. Exactly. And then he can just juggle Snake to the heavens. Also has amazing kill power, so Snake's heavy is, uh, isn't as huge of a deal for Wolf. It's like you said, right? Like, you want laser, or basically what it's, it's called blaster. You want blaster as an option to select against Snake. It doesn't let him camp as much as he would like to be comfortable with, and it forces Ronichu to pick those options. Okay, do I want to approach with grenade? Do I want to try to bait it out? That's what you want from a good move like blaster. And then on top of Snake's weight being the perfect combo food for Wolf, it's really good. It's a really good matchup here for Shark to come in, but like you said, he has losses before. Down smash, not able to catch the cypher. It catches the Cypher, I'm sorry, but not able to catch Nick. Very scary position for Ron and Chi right there. Good thing he teched, though. Yeah, but you can put in a tech chase situation at this percent against Wolf. Uh, he can definitely uh, secure the stock if he's on point. Yeah. Ooh, missed back air forward tilt. The starting frame is not right. enough. Tough, uh, pretty decent trade, I would say, coming out for Sharp. Still able to land on the stage. Didn't lose a life for that. Oh! Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So smash that shield. So Ryan yeah. Chi wanted to do the... Uh, F tilt one on shield, they sharp to roll and then up tilt him, something like that. But sharp just immediately up smash him out of shield, but the great tech chase with the four tilt from the down throw. Ryan Chu's really, really doing a good job of keeping this close. And uh, yeah, so, so far, yeah, sharp is content to just hang back and really try to play as patiently as possible in this matchup, which uh, I don't blame him. Yeah, as one of the greatest uh, FGC players of all time has said, you know what, sometimes you got to play lame and win the game. And Sharp knows, man, if I have even just a little bit of lead, it's Snake who has to approach me at the end of the day. All right, good use of Blaster once again. In the neutral here, like I said, it forces options. Ronald Chu has to start considering how am I going to make the approach here? Do I have to play more grenade? When, I, when, when am I going to bait out the end lag of Blaster to make this approach? How do I mix in with grenade? That's the bigger question. This is neutral art. That's a grab forward throw. Baiting out the oh. roll, but no punish, I'm amazed. unfortunately. I'm yeah, amazed. he barely missed that. <laughs> okay, great dash attack from Ronnie, too. And he has him at the ledge, but Sharp jumps over the down smash attempt. Oh, this is so close. Double jump mix up with the nair. I like that play. But it sneaks in the back here. Not enough to kill Snake. It's going high. Oh, wow, what a call crazy. Out. Yeah, what a call out. Crazy, but Ryan's two actually hit him with the Nikita in the air. So he actually didn't get a hard punish on that. I know it's town and city, right. but I'm still surprised with the knockback that Wolf does. Tech nice. nice. Oh. Scary stuff. Good, for on, good on Sharp. Right Look, oh. he's not faltering. He's not going to let go of that shield easily. He knows. He knows what Ronichu is looking for. That should attack yeah, on the yeah. cross up. Yep. Ronichu hey. with the punish the forward tilt. Ronichu's got stage oh. control here. Up smash two. Grab. What is he doing? Oh my goodness, he just trapped him in shield. That was so much pressure. Now Ryan Chu is the one with the lead, however small it is. If you're Snake in this situation, you're just thinking, trade, trade, <laughs> trade. <laughs> That's your best I mean, bet, honestly. If I can get like a good 40% right now, it's, it's really good for me if yeah. I'm the Snake player. Shot Something I would again? like Ronnie to do right now in this matchup though, Pull out grenade and then crouch while holding the grenade. Yeah, you uh, low you profiles. Can... We talked about this. Hurtbox shifting in ultimate is very, very strong. You literally won't get hit by the laser, and then you can just crawl towards Wolf while you are holding a grenade. It's like a brawl tactic that still works. Oh, <laughs> run at you on all the but, landings. You're able dude, to get sharp. He, he got that landing trap with forward smash. That would have been amazing. All right, okay. Sharp evens it up here closely, but not yeah, close enough here. Close. 53. 
super close game game three pretty much like we said this is best of three this is to continue just the top eight winner side and you know sharp wants it run at you is definitely still on behind like you said strides he's slowly moving with grenade maybe going for that crouch it might be a tactic eventually but we'll see big dash attacks oh my god sharp somehow avoided every hit of neutral air man this is so stressful <laughs> so stressful right now no one can make a mistake especially sharp but Oh, he falls out of the forward tilt. Man, he really wants to catch a jump with that up air. He's just barely missing, though. It's the blaster again. Oh, almost caught the landing there on the wave line against Snake. Sharp is trying to play oh. as patient as possible. I think... Oh, and the oh, back Oh, the air, big yeah. back there. Catching that double jump from Ronnie Chu. Kind of an autopilot double jump there. Not really following Wolf's drift. And what Sharp was going for, but man, that was so close. Damn, could have gone either way. Just one little mistake at the end cost.